Hi everyone, for the doming demo today for practical publishing, we will be making use of the world's best print and cut in one machine, the Mamaki CJV150-130. The 150 denotes the series of the machine and the 130 denotes the size of the machine. It's a 1.3 meter wide print and cut in one. We have specifically chosen today to make use of a vehicle grade vinyl because we will be doming stickers that will be going onto a vehicle. We have loaded the machine with the necessary vinyl. We've printed the required decal graphic that we would like. From there, the machine has cut out the decal graphics. We have then stripped away the excess vinyl, and we are now ready to proceed with the doming to get to the end product. Okay, now that we've done the printing and the cutting, we have weeded the excess vinyl away, which makes this piece of vinyl ready for doming. Doming generally consists of two parts, a resin and a hardener. And they are generally mixed together as a ratio of one to one. We are making use of a Euro drop doming system manufactured in Italy. The nice thing about this is they've developed a squeeze bottle which makes doming easy, even for beginners. As I said the ratio is one to one. I now apply the resin. And I now apply the hardener. The bottle is marked so that you can make sure that you are putting in a ratio of one to one. Once that has been added, I then put the lid on the bottle. With these particular bottles, they need a good shake for a good 15 to 20 seconds. While I'm busy shaking, I'm going to continue. This doming kit comes with several pipes, allowing for very fine doming, depending on the size of the decal and what you need to do. The thick clear pipe will fit on the spigot of the, of, of the lid, like such. From there, if you need something finer than that, we then move to the black pipe, which will slot into the clear pipe like that. I would then cut it off. Should I need something finer than the black pipe, I would then attach the red pipe into the black pipe. Same way as I've done the black pipe into the clear pipe. Once that is in, I could then cut it off and I now have a nice fine doming area for it to come out of. The reason we cut the pipe off is so that they can be used for the other bottles in the box. Should we require something much finer than any of the pipes, we then have the needles, which have a very small exit hole and allow for exceptionally fine doming onto very small decals. In order to achieve a successful dome, you will need a flat surface, because the doming resin is gravitational, and you also need to be in a dust-free environment. Otherwise, dust particles can settle on the doming resin while it is still wet, and they will then be part of the doming once the resin and the hardener have hardened together. It is always very good to start doming in the middle of your decal like such. The doming resin is designed to run as far as the edge of the decal, unless of course you put too much down. Should you find that you have not put down enough doming resin, you can always come back and slowly just add some more. As I say, the resin is designed to run as far as the edge of the decal, unless of course you put too much. You can clearly see how this is running towards the edge of the decal. Last but not least, as is common when doming, there will be times when bubbles will appear. The simple way to get rid of the bubbles, an open flame from a lighter or a gas burner or being put into an oven. Very quick, very simply, across the top, the bubbles have disappeared. Again over here, there are a lot of bubbles in the doming resin. Those bubbles are not there anymore. Same here. Same here. And you now get a good feel as to what a doming decal looks like once it is done.